is up Web3 Crew, Krista Two Moons, right here at Dubai AI Festival 2025. And I am right here at the booth of Styler, the fashion AI company. And I am with the CEO and the CDO, Miss Nitu. How are you today? I'm all good, thanks. And Mr. Anas. Perfect, doing awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you guys? How's the event so far? Event is crazy. You know, we just started. It's only been a few hours and there's a lot of traction going around, a lot of discussions going around. Yeah, so it's our first experience in that domain. So it's, it's crazy good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, can you please um, give us a bit background about yourself? Okay, so me and Anas, we are also co-founders of one of our companies, like tech companies. So mm -hmm. that's how we partnered. And then one day I came up to him and I said, okay, you know what? I have a serious issue. Like, I just don't know what to wear and from where to buy. Though, although I shop pretty much all to every alternate day, but still whenever I open my wardrobe and I'm like, okay, I don't know what dress to pick and all. So I, I was just talking to me, him and I said, okay, can we do something about it? Like, can we solve this issue? And then he said, okay, I don't have that issue. I'm like, really, you don't have that issue? Okay, fine, I'll, then we, we decided to just keep in my eye on it and see, is it like, just a normal issue or everybody has it so whenever there's an event pops up he always have this habit of i don't know i have to run to zara to buy same white shirt or black shirt which i have like 20 pieces and he'll he'll come back with that and i will go back on ecom platform just trying to scroll down and see what what should i buy what should i like what will look good on me try so many things fill my card spend a lot of money get something wear it, don't like it, return it back. Mm. So I was like, I am frustrated. Even though I, uh, like, you know, we look into influencers and Insta models and like, you know, try to keep up ourselves with the trend. But towards the end, when you're actually shopping, you don't remember anything. You are just by yourself with your phone. Mm. And that's what it is. So this is how we thought, okay, let's try to solve this problem. So, so, so I said, okay, fine, you know what? We have an issue. You have an issue because for you, apart from black, you don't see any other color exist. Yes. So that's bad. You cannot always roam around with black. And I have an issue because I have this habit of trying everything and anything without actually knowing which will look good on me. So to solve this issue, I, I thought, okay, let me... Uh, go to a personal stylist we'll probably let her tell me what will look good on me guide me and all but I personally think that is quite boring mm -hmm. like you you sit you answer their question you have to take out your time and then these stylists will say okay fine you know what we now know you will send you a box you try this these clothes and like you know on a weekly basis or a monthly basis you're gonna get clothes I'm not a fan of that because I love shopping online and I don't want anybody else to shop on my behalf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want that experience by myself. I just want people to help me, someone to help me assisting it properly so that I don't waste my time. Mm -hmm. I'm not confused. I know exactly. And the best part is like with women especially, you buy something and you want to, you wear it and then you see, okay, this doesn't look good like on my waist or on my arms or my legs, it doesn't look right. With our platform, what we are trying to do is we are building an AI model, which is like your digital twin. So you click, you if you like a look, you click on that look, you can see yourself in that look, exactly how you will look if you are actually buying it and wearing it. Okay. So even without, without, before purchasing it, you will see, okay, this is how I'm gonna look. I like it, let me buy it. Okay. So I actually... That's the idea. That's, the idea. So yeah, I that's the idea. Okay. So actually, actually, I can relate to you guys yeah. because like for us like CEO CTO like a host hundreds of events and we're actually having a problem of what to wear so now that I found this you know this company in my yes yeah, Tyler could help me out on what to wear every day and how about you mr. Anas C CTO so tell us a bit about your background so uh, like yeah okay uh, so I have a technology company. We co-founded, it's been like 11 years in UAE. You know, we work on B2G sector actually. So I come from a technology background, a company, other company, you know, we are working like building platforms, multiple platforms over there. So like Nidu said, you know, Nidu has this habit whenever we give, go out for a meeting, especially we see a tech person on the opposite side, she goes and say, hey, do you know this guy is Elon Musk of UAE? So mm -hmm. she just wants to see, so his ego gets hurt, you know, so he starts pulling me and then he wants to see, wants to see how do I validate in front of other people. 
people. So I tell her it's okay. I think 90 percentage I do manage that, but there are 10 percentage people who might actually be better than me. Yeah. You know. So she came with the same problem. Told me, see, I have this problem. You are Elon Musk of UAE, so solve this problem for me. You know, I need a you know AI model or whatever you want to do. It should tell me what to wear every day. Mm -hmm. And because my e-commerce bills are going crazy every month, uh, so you know I want to bring it down. So this was the whole thing happened about it, mm -hmm. and why my background with tech like i said you know we have a fashion you know we have a technology company i started as an a uh, software engineer it's been two decades in the industry uh, did from websites to mobile applications to robots to what not you know so what we believe is you have a problem it can be solved with a computer yes we are the guys to get into it so we both had a common problem we decided let's solve it ourselves mm -hmm. and then get people like you on it that's what we do it very interesting story, you know. Right. So, what is the main vision and mission of Styler? See, the main vision is everybody. So, styling should not be a expensive, b yeah. time consuming. That's it. It it should be very convenient. It should be something like you know, I have a phone, I have an app. Just tell me. So every day you get up, uh, get ready. Instead of before opening your wardrobe, you open Styler and say, okay. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm sorted. Yes. Second thing is, if you're buying anything new, you don't have to overwhelm with the, uh, yourself of hunting all different different e-commerce platforms and then like you know spending so much money. Just go on Styler, tell your occasion, see yourself. You like you like it, then you buy it. Mm -hmm. So the, so this is this is the main idea to make it smooth, to make it very easy. And what I always feel is like people think. Styling means you have to spend more money mm. because you have to uh, buy a certain level of clothes. No, it is not the case. Styling means putting clothes together which fits your body perfectly mm. and your complexion perfectly, the colors, the everything. So that's that's what we are aiming for. And the, the byproduct of that is like once we integrate that with e-com platforms, those platforms will also benefit out of it because they will have less return. They will have more satisfied customers, and they will have they'll like people will love the whole experience because if I'm getting on let's say a platform, let's say Namshi, so yes. I, I have my profile there and I know exactly what these guys are presenting. I'll try the look and I'm buying it. So it's more satisfactory like mm -hmm. that. So I can is, tell that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. So this is the most satisfactory thing. Like you know, you buy something and you are not returning it. Yes. You are happy with that. Mm -hmm. So, and I can see that uh, it's like it's very easy access for the outfits exactly. and, and all that stuff. And what do you think is the future impact of Styler in the ecosystem? See, we will see every people dressing stylish mm -hmm. on the streets, and we don't want people to spend hours thinking in the morning. When it's a daily commute, even before going to office, we all have that issue, what should I pick up and wear? It can be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, however, depending on each person. So one thing what we see is definitely everyone looks stylish on the roads. Every single human being, that's what we aim to have. And then every single person will save at least, you know, 10 to 15 minutes from daily on their basis. So you look into a lifespan, what they're producing, it's going to be a lot of savings in human hours into it. So we are reducing decision fatigue. We are making sure people are looking stylish on the roads. That's it. All right. And how do you keep your AIs updated about what to wear then? So, so okay. The, in detail, so what I wanted, I have told him and he's working on it. So what I told him is like, you know, we are com we, we don't have a competitor, direct competitor yet, which is like, you know, so we have a, like there are companies who are personal stylists, like yeah. human being stylists. Yeah. I, I have a problem with them also because like I don't want to go as I said sit with them so I said okay we need to create a fashion I said I love chat GPT I said let's create fashion GPT yeah. like let's create this brain who knows each and everything about fashion and mm -hmm. styling all around the world mm -hmm. so like you know and then when they are recommending me I know for sure I'm up in the trend yes. because every year color changes pattern changes fabric changes so I just want something to rely on so mm -hmm. that's so he's building that fashion chat GPT for me. <laughs> Very interesting um, story, guys. And um, do you think your AI is a threat or tool for all the um, uh, fashion stylists? I mean, like, are they going to help people or it's a threat for them to lose their jobs? 
See, uh, it is not just fashion AI. Any AI is a threat to any human being. The way we are working right now, that is a threat to what we are working. So it's also an evolutionary measure for us. We need to evolve. We need to understand how AI is going to help us. You know, so it's definitely going to be the way we see humans have been working all this time. That is not how we are going to work together. So it's not just us. Any AI, it's a threat to ourselves. For example, you know, we are software engineers. We don't need software engineers to develop softwares anymore. You know, we can rely on AI. So that threat is there. I don't think that that's that that's something to be discussed about worried about life is like that it always puts challenges in front of you you as human beings will evolve around that now for fashion stylist how we can help is you know as 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 a you know as a brain for fashion stylist they depends upon them how they use it for example chat gpt when it came through i was one of the earliest adopters into it when they did a survey i told them i am ready to pay up to 6000 to 10000 dirhams a month for mm -hmm. chat gpt subscription and my idea was i found the smartest employee i have finally he gets to understand what exactly i want so how stylist receivers they might receive as a platform which actually enable them which makes them you know understand the customers better than what they do you know so for example our module our styler has a module which calls know your body you know so basically a clothing starts how we tailor tailor measures your body right in our case we just click a picture of a person you get every measurements our error rates are currently 1 cm that's the accuracy what we are having right now so for a stylist you don't need to sit and have long communications long discussions about what's your body measurements and everything you can have a personal emotional connection with your customer so we are enabling everyone how each stylist sees and receives it and implement that in their day to day work it depends upon them we are an advocates of ai you know we are like okay bring it on guys you challenge our job we'll be happy to understand and evolve ourselves that's what we look into it yeah thank you so much thank mr anas and i think i have a mandatory question but it's actually off the topic okay, okay so what do you think is the future of money I think okay I have I'm already cash like I don't carry cash I don't know how it look and feel <laughs> I only have my phone I I'm completely relying on my iPhone for everything like Apple Pay is 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 my my go to thing and I think I think being all digitized is the future of money crypto people are talking about it so I think I think crypto will soon pick up like at some point of time but because it is again digitized and all that so I think I think definitely the uh, crypto or digital Thing. yeah oh of course it is digital you know uh, but i think you know we are going to rather than talking about the future of the money you know i would like to say the, how we are working towards to make money that is going to make a difference i think with ai you know we will not be working to get, earn our money i think our bots will work towards to earn our money that's we how we mm -hmm. feel about mm -hmm. of course digital crypto whatever the sector is that is how money is going to be okay. money is anyway non tangible item so yeah right. yeah thank, thank you so much and the last question um uh, describe not question describe dubai ai festival in one word i think it's futuristic that's what i feel like you know you come here and then you like okay wow i mean this is the future we are heading to fantastic that that's what i feel thank you describe dubai ai festival in one word awesome yeah thank you so much you. i hope you get a lot of insights from them this is kisa two moons more to come only here at fomo the future of money